gratitude. 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 Oh, gratitude. 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 What's gratitude mean? Gratitude means love. Gratitude means be thankful. I'm grateful for a house. I'm thankful for my baby sister and and my family. I'm thankful for my mom and daddy. I'm grateful for the clothes I get every day so I can wear to school. I'm grateful for the Windermere Foundation. Thank you. Thank you, Windermere. Thank you, Windermere. Since 1989, the Windermere Foundation has been raising funds to support low-income and homeless families. Thanks to you, fewer kids go hungry, fewer families are evicted from their homes, and more people have their most basic needs met. Hi, my name is Christine Wood, and I'm the Executive Director of the Windermere Foundation. There's really no better way to fully understand the impact of your generosity than by hearing real stories from people who have benefited by your donations. Because of you and your unwavering support of the Windermere Foundation, these stories have happy endings. The children and youth that we serve at Ryther are clinically, what you would term clinically very complicated. They're kids that come with psychiatric issues and psychological issues. So the work that we do is to help them deal with the trauma that they've endured. Most of these kids have come from families where there's been significant abuse and neglect, and that requires a tremendous amount of resources to be able to support that. And, and without the Windermere Foundation, we wouldn't be able to do that. We wouldn't be able to keep our doors open. DJ is the quintessential writer story and represents most of the children that come into the cottage program. He is a little boy that um, endured a significant amount of neglect and abuse in a very short life. And because of that abuse and neglect, his behaviors were beyond what a typical foster family could manage. So he came to Ryther to address the trauma. And as he worked through his treatment, he was ready for the family that came and found him, his adoptive mom. And we are very fortunate that she found him and that he was ready for her when she came. He wasn't able to sit still. He wasn't able to communicate what he wanted. He had a pretty traumatic history of neglect and abuse and being left um, in rooms alone and just probably some really bad things that were happening to him at nighttime. So he needed to hear that someone was outside of his door and that he was safe. One of his treatment options that we used was the SODA program. So it stands for Stop, Option, Decide, and Act. The goal of the program was for him to regulate his emotions on his own. His teachers at Ryther were amazing. They worked with him um, specifically with his speech therapy. When I first got there, I was like unspeechable to talk because my other mom, my mom, I used to, my mom I had, she never, usually never talked to me when he came to Ryther was behind in some of his academics, so they really worked with him. I didn't know how to read or do math or anything. Now, look at me. Good job, DJ. I'm smart and I'm good at math and I can read. He needed structure and that's what we gave him because once he had that structure and that anxiety was gone of not having food and not having rest and not having clothes and toys, we got to see the real DJ. When I went to Ryder, I didn't even know what lunch was because I never ate lunch before. Ryder got me confidence into myself and I trusted him a lot. DJ's future after Ryder is unstoppable. He has the love of a family now that was what he wanted from the beginning. Ryder's the most awesome place you can go if you need caring and talk to because they always listen. They don't say anything bad to you, and they always help you. Mary's Place is standing in the gap the moment a family leaves their home until they find their forever home. We do two things. We offer overnight shelter for over 200 family members 
every night of the year. And then we also offer a day center where families can begin to reclaim their lives by offering basic needs and necessities and opportunities for housing and employment resources and getting kids connected to school and childcare, all in an effort to help them heal and move forward. The gifts from the Windermere Foundation have been life-saving for homeless families. You know, last year, the Windermere Foundation donated over $30,000 to help us open a new shelter. That shelter provided over 9,300 overnight stays and moved 25 families into their forever homes. There is no greater gift than that. Sam and Alex are two amazing kids with an amazing mom and dad. Their dad woke up paralyzed one morning, everybody's worst nightmare. What happened was their mom had to leave work. She was a communications expert and she took a leave and she thought that she would just be out a short period of time. But what happened was she ended up using her sick leave, her vacation, her retirement, her 401k until there wasn't any more money to pay the rent. An eviction came and they moved into their car outside the parking lot of the hospital while dad was inside. They stayed in that car for well over three months waiting for dad to get better. What happened then was they found Mary's place and they were able to come inside. We took in mom and Sam and Alex and they stayed together. They were warm, they had meals. The kids went to school for the first time in a long time. And then the happy news was dad was healing. He was able to come out of the hospital. We moved them into a two-parent shelter where they stayed together for several months until guess what? They got their forever home. Walked them to my home. And this is my kitchen, a living room, and my eating place. This is our bedroom and we have bunk beds. Yeah! This is where I get to play and be a ninja. One of my favorite things is make dinner with my mommy. When you're homeless, it feels like you're a can of beans, but you never get opened, and you never get ate. But your, your dream is to get ate and have a home, but you never do. When, it, when I come home, it feels good for once. You people, which is homeless out there, don't be, don't be scared, worried. I was one, I was you once. Boy, girl, it doesn't matter. You're all gonna get a home sometime. And I used to be like you. Wellspring Family Services does a number of different things, but primarily we believe that every child and every family deserves a home a safe home and access to early learning services that really help create a different path for young children. I think what you might be most interested in is our housing services and our early learning center. Last year with your support we actually took 400 families off the street or out of their cars or wherever they were staying and helped them get into stable long-term housing. That represents over 1,000 children who now have a place to live and know that they have a safe secure home. We've been privileged to receive support from the Windermere Foundation for a number of years. Most specifically this past year, you helped us house over 400 families, which represented over 1,000 children who now have a safe, secure home. You also helped us provide services to over 50 homeless children every day in our early learning services. And many of you have also volunteered in our baby boutique, so thank you very much. We're extremely grateful to the next person that you're going to meet, named Melissa. It takes a lot of courage to tell your story about where you were and where you are now and where you're going. And I think Melissa really represents the kind of resiliency that we help families develop. And it also means that she can be the mom that she wants to be. I was pretty successful. I had just, I had graduated from nursing school at the U and I had this great life, but I, I was a drug addict and I couldn't stay clean. So I went from having this like amazing f potential future to literally in under a year living in a van. You know, you never get used to being homeless, but you become 
sort of numb to it. And I remember that feeling of becoming more and more disassociated from normal society um, and becoming, you know, one of them. And I, you know, and I remember just the terror and the fear of like, what, how am I gonna raise this baby? Like, you know, I, what am I gonna do? You know, nobody wanting to rent to you, nobody wanting to look at you, nobody wanting to talk to you. You just, you feel worthless. There's no way we could have overcome the barriers that we had without family services. Our case manager, Sarah, was our salvation. I mean, I don't even know how to describe how wonderful this woman is and how, how much I respect her and what she did for us. I mean, we were motivated. We, we, were, we had the drive, but we had all of these barriers. We got these letters together and she kept advocating and having no this family is really there you know it's a good bet and I think they denied us twice and on the third try <laughs> they they said all right and we got into that unit and and it was I remember I walked in and and I just was in tears because it was it was brand new it was beautiful and it was safe and it was clean and There was no way that we could have realized our potential and become the amazing parents and the successful employees and the wonderful friends that we are. And there's no way that we could have stayed clean without family services. I just, it looks like, it looks like a treat. Currently, I am a nurse. I'm a, I'm a nursing supervisor at um, Recovery Centers of King County. So I work with chemically dependent people seeking treatment, which is just ironic and amazing. <laughs> and Dan is a lead installer for a sign company. So we both are success successful and we moved out of that transitional housing and we are in normal market rate apartment. You, you, you give a little in the initially in a way that's meaningful and successful you get this massive return you know at least that's how I see it plus you're saving lives <laughs> you know like you're saving lives the people who gave to family services while I was a part of family services saved my life saved my child's life every single day I look at him and I am grateful that he is in my life, that he, that Rowan is the little guy that found me. Thank you, Wendy Mayor. Thank you, Wendy Mayor. Thank you so much for what you're helping do with us in partnership. Every day, you help us change the path for thousands of children and their families. And every year, you help create an impact in your own community and in ours. So thank you. Thank you, Wendy Mayor. Thank you, Wendy Mayor. Thank you for your support in helping us change the lives of children. Together, we can bring them all inside. We can give every child a bed, and we can move every family into a forever home. Nearly every day, the Windermere Foundation is providing some sort of relief for a struggling family. And thankfully, Windermere has a network of givers. Our agents are the real superstars of the Windermere Foundation. Because it's the donations from their commissions that allow us to help so many families. And for that, I am grateful. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you.